Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Niall, and I wanted to make a quick video on how to make a clog deck in Marvel Snap. The whole goal of a clog deck is to be able to make sure that your opponent has less spots in which they can play cards. This is very, very handy if you want to be able to set up early game and then deny your opponent from playing higher power cards in a desired location. So this is my clog deck that I have right here. Korg shuffles a rock into your opponent's deck. If you have a rock shuffled into your opponent's deck, your opponent may also play that rock. If they play that rock at a location to try to get rid of it, that means they are self-clogging themselves at a location. That could be a great opportunity for you to then set up power there or for you to set up power at other spots because your opponent doesn't have enough space for them to play cards later on. Black Widow is a really good clog card. This card literally adds a Widow's Bite and as all of you know, Widow's Bite, if that is in your hand, you cannot draw any cards. Widow's Bite is a self-clogging card, so you want to make sure that if you have Black Widow, you play that Black Widow as fast as possible, especially if you have Elysium. If you have Elysium where Black Widow only costs one, play her immediately so that way you can set up that Widow's Bite and that way you can start clogging that location. You can throw rocks there, you can throw a Green Goblin there later. As a lot of you already know, Green Goblin, minus three card, you want to make sure that you play that at a location in which you're intending to clog. So let's say, for example, Savage Land appears and there's two Raptors, you want to throw that Green Goblin on Savage Land almost immediately. Or if you see like Sewer System, anything that's going to allow the card to cost less. Same thing applies for Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin's minus eight. Uh, of course, this is a five cost card, so you want to be able to use this to negate any high power that you expect at a location. So if you expect your opponent to play a Jessica Jones, this would cancel out a Jessica Jones boost because it's minus eight. Jessica Jones would get eight power if she skips the next turn and there's no cards played there. Um, so Hobgoblin can cancel that out. Uh, this can work well against a Black Panther. Uh, of course, if there's no Wong or anything like that, if you expect your opponent to play Black Panther just by itself, Hobgoblin can be used to just cancel out that power immediately. The biggest card here in this deck is Debris. Debris, you want to be able to play Debris at a location where you need power, but you also want to be able to clog any other locations. If you have set up on the right and you're looking to set a power on the right and you expect your opponent to play left later on and that's the location that they want to set up for power then you would play debris on right for the power so that way the rocks that she clogs up will be on the left in the middle location i also have rock slide in here rock slide is just better cord really and then i also have a few other high powered cards here white queen is kind of just played just in case i don't have rock slide um and hulk is just there for power um if you need power to throw down you play hulk because a lot of these cards are kind of weak a lot of your early cards are weak. You have Black Widow, which is a 2-1. Sentinels, 2-3, so not bad. The Bree, 3-3. Green Goblin, of course, is minus, and Hobgoblin is minus. So these two don't give you power, per se. They just take away power from the enemy. And sometimes you may not be able to take away power. You want to make sure that you have cards in which you can play for power. Captain Marvel works pretty well here, too. Cards that counter this deck very well. Blue Marvel is a very good card that counters in, uh, a clog deck because he can give power to all cards. You have rocks on your side. Blue Marvel can be played and give power to those rocks or to a Widow's Bite or something like that. So Blue Marvel is a big counter to a clog deck. Some other cards that could possibly counter your clog deck could be like a Devil Dinosaur. Um, Devil Dino, of course, has a lot of power um, if it has a lot of cards in their hand. So you want to be careful of this type of deck because if you're feeding rocks into a Devil Dinosaur type deck, then of course he can just hold on to those rocks and then just play Devil Dino and then have a ton of power to work with. Those, the main counters to this deck are really ongoing cards. Cards that can be able to distribute power or make other cards gain power. So maybe an Iron Heart would be another counter to this deck. So you either want to play around cards that can distribute power like Iron Heart or you clog the lane early so that way those cards can't be played at all. Nova, cool. So yeah, he definitely has a destroy deck if he has Nova. Which is fine. He probably might be able to play another card here. So honestly, Crimson Cosmos, mm, that's a rough location. We do have Rock Slide, so we can always play Rock Slide and Crimson Cosmos and just build power in these two. Or Miniaturized Lab. He probably is going to have either kill Monger or something for this. Yep. Oh, Luke Cage. Interesting. We had to call it Crimson Cosmos with Debris, which could be nice. We can't add any cards to Miniaturized Lab, so Miniaturized Lab doesn't work too well for us. That's fine. This is exactly what we want, actually. We want Debris Middle. Him playing Juggernaut there is fine. He could always end up moving his um his Juggernaut, which is nice with Magneto. Yep, okay, he looks to fill that. And the Killmonger destroys his rocks. So that's another that's another counter to this deck. Another counter to this deck is Killmonger. Okay, try to go for a Hobgoblin read. This is a little bit risky. Okay, he plays Crimson Cosmos. Okay, Captain Marvel. Us putting Hobgoblin there automatically gets us the win. 
We have to be able to outplay the Captain Marvel. This and this. This gives us eight power. If he moves Captain Marvel there, it's eight. You still win. Okay, nothing discarded. We're good. That's the game. So that's a little bit of how the claw kind of works. That's a little bit of how the claw kind of works. We want slots to it all again. I just want to be able to immediately deny this. We have cards we can play every turn in this hand right now, so. Okay, he has Bucky. So since he has Bucky, destroy decks are also kind of good against this because destroy decks, he can use those rocks to kind of be able to get props with carnage or whatever. So we don't really want that. Murder World destroys the Widow's Bite, so we kind of lose value with that. And that's a pretty good snap there, too. We're going to play Rock Slide here, and then we can play Claw on left to potentially outpower him. Ooh, but he has Killmonger. That's pretty good. We could play Claw now, build power here, and then we can like Hulk, White Queen, whatever we want to this turn. Death. Ooh. Not enough. We lose by one power. We can Hobgoblin there and potentially play Korg there to win. Wow. Wow, we tie it up and then we win it. So yeah, there's a little bit of the claw going. We got the Hobgoblin. Victory. Okay, everyone, that is all I have for today's video on how to make a claw deck in Marvel Snap and completely control every location that you want to. My name is Niall. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you all next time. Peace.